Hi guys, I'm MK and I just wrote an article about how to implement dynamic links in Laravel uh, where I'm just trying to do exactly what Medium is doing where the Slack structure is all about that that all itself is being like an SEO friendly and at the end there's like the UUID. Whenever you are trying to delete the slug, uh, simply it's just redirecting you to the full URL and if you would like to do such feature in Laravel, uh, read this tutorial or just watch this with me. So let's get started. So all we have to do is actually begin from our routes where I would like to just add this simple example where I'm doing the route variable to be post, trying to connect it to this controller. So the first thing to do here is actually just uh, add to your migration file this simple UID with this with the link that you would like I would recommend like 10, 10 uh, characters and after that we are we're just going to actually migrate the database and I just added the migration file and right now we are going to have uh, the UID since we have this column uh, within our model and table we will just right now have to uh, fill it and for sure we can you can just manually fill it whenever you are creating a new post but it's going to be a boring job, so let's just make it as part of the model itself. So, you know, in my model, I just use this trait, has a UUID, and within this trait, it has actually a method, a boot method, at the very beginning, where it's just like handling the process of whenever you are creating a new model, a new post model is going to fill the UUID automatically for you. So, just to clean things up, I put that within this function however you can just simply actually add it here as one line and if you would like to check it out it's just like a simple simple uh, combination of functions in order to just create something unique since we have right now having the uid being filled automatically we can just simply go to the next step right now and that would be uh, handling the variable so in order to have the route variable for sure in order to have the route variable you can just go ahead and like go to the to any service provider that you would like within the boot function you can just simply add the snippet of code and you can, you can just create your own dedicated service provider like I uh, emphasized in the tutorial you can just actually use like something else like my I don't know like slug slug service provider anyways so this uh, as, as you know this is just like a normal route model binding right so I'm just trying to handle this variable. I'm just trying to figure out exactly the position of the dash, the last one, and then explode it and go ahead and find out that uh, that exact post. Just like a side note, if you would like to have, if you are going to have multiple models, you don't have to repeat yourself, right? So I just wrote a simple uh, like for each for you guys. If you if you maybe just in case if you have like multiple models, you don't have to repeat yourself and just ha have it all within this for each. Anyways, regardless, if in our example we have like just one simple post model, and I will I will just simply use this portion of code, and uh, we just have to redirect the user uh, whenever they are trying to visit a link which is having only the UID, or if it has like an old version of our title or slackified version of our title, so. In order to use it, you just have to use this function, pass the whole uh, request object, and the slug source by default, it, it is, it's going to be the slug, it's the title itself, but perhaps you're having a model with, uh, with like the name being the source of your slug. So you can just have, you can, you can just write name here if you would like, you can keep it empty, like in our case, since it's the title. Um, just by now, if it's not there, then we're going to redirect to the proper URL, right? And it's just a good practice to make it as an accessor since you can just use it in multiple places. So my advice to you guys is just like do something like this. You can just create a simple accessor where you are just trying to figure out the, the proper URL. And in my case, and in the tutorial, I just wrote here that perhaps you are trying to, I don't know, you are trying to get the title for um, like a, for your model with multiple translations. And if you couldn't find the translation, you can just go ahead and take uh, like a different uh, as a fallback different translation anyways so that's it actually whenever you're going to, to visit this URL uh, things will be bad whenever you have having again again only like UID or a missed up or an old uh, generated slug so let's go ahead immediately and test this code I'm going to add like a simple I don't know like a simple UID 
with some title. So you can just figure out that the slug of, of our title should be like containing only the UID at first, right? So I can just say block seven and after that the block and then the UID. It should like redirect me to the full slugified dynamic URL, which is something really cool. Um, if you would like, maybe you can give it another test by just changing the post title to something decent or something else, sorry. Let's persist this change. So whenever you are trying to visit this, it will simply redirect you again to the new dynamic URL or again, if there's like only the slug. Thank you so much and please bear with me. It's like really my first tutorial. Thank you so much.